Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. We are here once again with Sugar Rush as it is indeed Sugar Rush Saturday here on the channel. We're going to go ahead and see if we can spin our way into a good sized bonus here using our free gold coins. Uh, or maybe we can just get some really big base game hits as well. That would also be fine. Whatever the case, thank you very much for joining me. I appreciate you spending your time with me. Uh, if you are here and you are enjoying these sort of videos and you are not yet subscribed as most people who watch these videos are not i would really appreciate it if you take a moment hit that subscribe button down below uh, i know it sounds sort of silly but it does really help the channel out uh, as well as hitting the like button and commenting uh, any kind of interaction is good but but definitely that subscription button is the more important one in the long run so if you would do that i would very much appreciate it I do upload every day, so at least there's something for you to watch every day. In the meantime, I'm going to stop rambling because I sound sort of like an incoherent, you know, idiot. So I'm just going to watch the last couple of spins go by here and then we'll start buying our way into some bonuses. This is what happens when you record a video, but you don't really plan ahead of what you're going to say. And then you just let the words come out and then you sound like this. <laughs> so forgive me. My apologies. Uh, we're going to start off with a 5,000 coin bonus here after this next spin. And we'll, uh, we'll see what that gets us. I hope you're all having a wonderful day and that we're about to have a great session of Sugar Rush here together. If you're not familiar with the game for some reason, three or more scatters get you into the game. More scatters get you more bonus spins. Uh, any five or more touching items that are the same create a connection just like that tumbles down until there's no more connections to be made in the background you can see the little shaded areas uh, as you make more and more connections on the same spot those become multipliers in the background they can go up to 128x on any one particular spot i was hoping to see that in the first game here but as it is uh, i think it, we're just sort of holding on for for dear life at this point uh, we've only got three spins left, and this is a terrible-looking board. It does look like it's making an effort to try a little bit, but it's just a really a little bit too late. Uh, two spins left to go. It's going to have to do some incredible things in order to make up for all of the missed spins that we've had. But that's usually how the first game here goes. This is no big surprise. 447 on 5,000 coins is definitely not where we want to be, so let's run that 5,000 coins back again. And see what we can do with another 10 spins it gives us for our three scatters on the screen. Now, I haven't said this one probably in a little bit, but in a game like this where you have spins to add up over time, really if you have more than two or three dead spins, uh, it basically kills the entire bonus because it does need to build and build and build. And if you have dead spins, it's not building anything. So unless you get really lucky and you get some incredibly good tumbles like we're getting at the moment to make up for the dead spins, uh, it really doesn't do you a lot of good. That was a nice hit there on the stars for 1,200 all by itself, 2,700 on the spin. Uh, the other option, of course, is to get three or more scatters during the bonus and any one spin and get an extra 10 spins out of that, which would also be helpful. This wouldn't be a bad board to get extra spins on. We sort of have multipliers all over the place. A couple of good ones in the middle of the screen there. We do have two spins left to go. Can we nail any of these 32Xs on the last spin? Kind of. Wasn't exactly the symbol I was looking for, but 4420 is a much better result on 5,000 than we had on the first game. It's almost 10 times more than we had on the first game, so... Confident as I'm feeling now, we're going to move up to 6,000 coins for the bet level here and see if we can continue this upward trajectory. I think this was the first time that we've had a connection on the very first spin. I don't know if that's good or bad, but the other ones haven't turned out real great, so maybe this one will be the opposite of that. Although, we've now had four dead spins in between. So that is, uh, that is not promising. But this is what Sugar Rush does. Sugar Rush gives and Sugar Rush takes. All right, that'll at least drop in the red bears. And then that'll drop in golden bears. Can we get a purple one on the way? We certainly can. 
I mean, that was a nice little, again, nice little tumble to open up some multipliers, but we're down to our last two spins again. So, once again, it just it really needs to do some work, and it's just a little bit too late. And we're on our last spin. I mean, it's trying, but it's not going to be able to do it. It just doesn't have enough room or enough time. 1476 on 6,000. All right, here's my thought. That's three times better than the first spin on the fives. So maybe this one will be three times better than the second spin on the fives. And we'll end up with like, you know, 15,000 or so. We do get an extra two spins, by the way, for the fourth scatter on the screen there. Um, I was in the middle of a thought. I didn't miss it, I promise. I was just trying to articulate the thought that was in my head. Not that it made any sense, but I was going to give it a shot anyway. Once again, nice to first spin tumble. This time we don't go four more spins before we get another one, so that's nice. Two scatters on the board. A third would be great, but I'm certainly not counting on it, but it shows up anyway. Probably because I wasn't counting on it. That's what happens sometimes when you don't have belief in a game. It turns around and shows you why you should. Although that's really not very common. <laughs> Let's be realistic. Trigger Rush loves to show you two scatters all the time and then never give you the third one, which is why I have no faith in it actually showing up. All in all, though, it's turning out to be a pretty good looking board. A lot of stuff right in the middle to connect with. Just right down that almost center two columns. We still have three spins left in the original bonus before we even get to the bonus 10 spins that we just got here. Oop, that gives us gold bears. Any more want to come in? Yep, we got one extra. That was a nice hit on the hearts there for a couple of thousand. Starting to look okay. We got a 32x and a 16x, both of which just got hit by stars. So now it's a 32 and a 64x, which is fantastic. Up into a profit by already at 7,000. Final spin of the regular bonus. All right, so we would have had 7,500 without the retrigger. Let's see what the retrigger gave us on top of the 7,500. Uh, at this point, it really just kind of could go nuts if we keep hitting on that left side there. I mean, that was 1400 just for the the minimum top symbol alone and then double that for the bears we do have a 128 on the board already and one more ready to become a 128 five spins left to go let's not start dead spinning out now please there we go that will drop in top symbol too it's not gonna hit the 128 but it's gonna hit some good ones that 6660 just for the top symbol alone 19,671, still three spins left to go. One more retrigger would be a very happy day for me on here. But final spin, final spin's a dead spin, 19,671. So weirdly my nonsensical logic worked out, but instead of getting 15,000, we got 19,000. Not really sure why it worked that way, but I'm not complaining about it. We're going to do another 6,000 coin buy here because it, I think it would just be silly to up the bet again, knowing very well it just gave us a good win. It's unlikely to do that twice in a row, and if it does, I'm okay with hedging my bets against it. Purple or red bear? Purple, purple comes in. That was good. Scatter blocks the red bear for us, so that doesn't really do us any good there. Stars would be nice. There we go. Now some golden grams. I don't know. I know, I know they're gummy bears on the screen, but in my brain, it's they're golden bears, so they must be golden gram cereal. Uh, we are getting connections on a lot of spins here. They're just not tumbling very much after the initial connection. Which is really the whole key to opening up those backgrounds is to get the tumbles to come in so they continue to hit the same spots over and over again. We're pretty well spread out across the board on this one and down to our last two spins. Uh, I mean, down to the final spin. I mean, final spin wasn't to dead spin, I guess, would be the upside of that one, but it was only 90 coins. All right, 
right, so we're at about that time. We've had that one really good win here. So let's go ahead and see if we can duplicate that. We're going to do our end of the video 10,000 coin bonus and see if we can get a second really good win here. In the meantime, again, if you have made it this far in the video, I appreciate you sticking around and watching. If there's a game you want to see me play, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, and of course, if you are not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, don't forget to hit the like button as well. Uh, again, it really just does help things out in the background. Um, I know everybody says it. There's a reason for that. It's because that's, that's true. It really does help in all the background algorithms and letting YouTube know what videos are good to watch for other people and all that kind of thing. So uh, it, it does have a purpose. It's just a weird thing to keep saying over and over again because, you know, it's just repeating yourself feels weird if you do it continuously over the course of weeks at a time. Really hoping for another red bear there. 13.15, not great for what we wanted, but we did have that one really good win there and for somehow my math worked out. So I'm happy with that one. I hope you are too, and I'll see you in the next one.